Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Melissa and I'm the owner and artist here at the Top Drawer RVA. See that cute little vanity right there? It needed the magic of slick stick. It is a laminate vanity. You can often find these styles of laminate vanities on marketplace or thrift stores. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you how you can paint them. Normally, you cannot paint that slick and shiny surface, but you can with a little bit of slick stick. Slick stick is your gripping primer for any slick or shiny surfaces. So the next time you're at a thrift store or a yard sale and you find one of those laminate beauties, scoop it up and take it home. I'm gonna show you how to paint plastic furniture. As always, begin by cleaning your surface with white lightning or pristine clean. After you've cleaned your surface, you're ready to begin. Roll on or paint on your slick stick in one even coat. Wait two to four hours and apply your second even coat. You can sand slightly if you find that your surface is a little bit bumpy. After 24 hours, you're ready for paint. Along with being plastic laminate surface, this little vanity is kind of boring. We're gonna dress it up with a little bit of Would You Bend. I love to use Would You Bend moldings on all of my furniture. It's just like adding a special little bit of jewelry. Heat up the backing, apply your wood glue, and adhere to your piece. Heat once again to ensure that it's stuck and you're ready to go. So what's the plan for this little beauty? Well, she's going to be blue. I'm going to do a woodland theme with antebellum blue, a little bit of moonshine metallics, and a little bit of transfers. After your slick stick has dried for 24 hours, you can paint on any surface. I'm using antebellum blue and my medium brush it's nice and smooth. I'm going to use water to make sure that my paint thins nicely and doesn't have any brush strokes. Apply two even coats of your chosen color to your vanity or the surface that you've painted with slick stick. I painted this entire vanity in antebellum blue, two even coats covering the entire surface. This vanity also has a mirror that attaches to the back. So in order to paint the mirror and not get any paint underneath the glass, I use slick playing cards to put around the edges and then paint on and just take them out. You can paint right over top of those beautiful Would You Bend bows as well. Now that my antebellum blue has dried, I wanted to come in and add a little bit of stripes to the front drawer. Since this piece is gonna be a little bit of a whimsical wonderland piece, I wanted to use moonshine metallics to add a little bit of bling. After laying down your tape on your drawer, use a spacer to make sure that you have them even. I like to start in the middle, making sure that my stripes will be nice and even from left to right. I find that using a newer, smooth synthetic brush to apply my Moonshine Metallics makes sure that it's streak free. I only applied one even coat going over the edges to make sure that it didn't leak in underneath the tape. Once I peeled it off, there was a couple small spots that I had to touch up, but it was a gorgeous blingy effect. Here's a handy dandy tip of the day. If you wanted to, before you applied your Moonshine Metallics, you could clear coat over top of your paint edges. This would ensure that no paint will leak underneath your blue painter's tape. Let's add a little bit more drama to this piece. This is the beautiful Victorian Damas stencil by Dixie Bell. 
I'm going to use my best dang brush and blot it off well. I'm then going to shadowy paint in the edges of the stencil. So what does that mean? Well, after you've blotted off your brush, you're going to be heavy handed on the edges and then kind of swirl it out until the paint fades away. This way you're going to be left with a beautiful faded looking stencil on the top of your piece. I faded in that stencil on both corners of the vanity. Let's apply a Bells and Whistles transfer. This is called the Flower Child Transfer. I've used part of this transfer in another piece, so my plan is to just use one big image on the top and then a little bit on the front of the drawer. Bells and Whistles transfers are numbered, so you can actually get in, see number one and two, which pieces line up to go together to create a full image. Cut out the images that you would like to use for your vanity. I use the two images, number one and number two. I then peeled off that backing paper and applied them to the top of my piece. Be careful because this part of the transfer is fragile. Once you lay it down, it's going to stay where you put it. My plan is to put this transfer directly on the center of the vanity. So once I got it down, I smoothed it with my hands and then used the small burnishing tool to make sure that it released from that backing paper onto the piece. Dixie Bell Bells and Whistles transfers are easy release. Using that small wooden tool that's enclosed in every tube, you just rub gently and you can see it release from that plastic paper. You don't have to rub very hard. This is a gentle process. Just hold your plastic paper and rub and pull back at the same time. You will see it release from the image sheet and turn completely white. When your sheet is white, you know that your image is adhered to your piece. Smooth gently to make sure that there are no air bubbles. Now get ready to line up the other part of your transfer. You can lay it down gently and gently move your piece of transfer. Once you have it done, smooth with your hand and adhere to the piece. Transfers can be sealed with wax or clear coat. I clear coated the entire vanity with Dixie Bell's satin clear coat to ensure that my transfer would stick to the piece. I like to dampen my sponge just a bit before applying my clear coat to the piece. I then just wipe on one direction to the other, keeping my movement smooth and simple so that I don't have any overlapping marks. You can apply as many coats of sealer as you would like. I like to apply two even coats, especially on the top of a vanity or a surface that might get used or touched a lot. I found the perfect hardware for this piece. I use these really cute silver baby deers. I also use them to attach the mirror to the back of the vanity. For just a little bit more extra drama, I added some Besting Wax in Black. Dixie Bell's Wax is a water-based product. I like to apply it with my French tip and then use a damp cloth to wipe it back. I absolutely love it when I put that wax on those little bows, those little would you bend bows, it makes them just pop. We're almost done, just a couple more finishing touches. No piece of mine would be finished without a little bit of gilding wax. This is gorgeous gilding wax in silver. I'm going to apply this with my small artist brush along all the edges of the drawers and the surface. 
Since gilding wax is an oil-based product, you can apply this last. It will cure very hard and very quick. I also love to use gilding wax on hardware. You can recycle your old hardware by changing the color with any one of the colors of Dixie Belle's gilding wax. My cute little plastic vanity is now complete. I told you, you can paint anything with a little bit of TLC and some slick stick. It's just like magic. I added a little bit of staging and took some beautiful pictures. I absolutely love how this flower child transfer blends so well with antebellum blue, along with those cute little touches of silver and the sweet little deer knobs. Well, what do you think? I absolutely love it. This piece is actually a donation piece for me to give back to my local community. My time, my love, and the little bit of effort that I had to put into this piece will be donated back to A Sister's Love, a charity located in Richmond, Virginia. Helping victims of domestic abuse get back out on their own, this beautiful vanity will furnish one of their brand new homes. Thanks for watching and joining me on my painting journey. I'll see you again next week.